happy service boys and girls it's another children's service and i'm so excited to be with you i know you are too you're excited about the lineup we have i know you have a great time at this service so do let us know how you're enjoying and having fun feel free to spread the word with your friends and tell them that you're having a great time because you're not just having fun you're also growing you're learning a lot aren't you we as you know have a start we start off by by you know worshiping and praising god and you get to express your 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 love for god because he loves you so very much we go ahead to also um have a session of um you know quiz we go ahead to learn the word of god all of these things build you you're getting better you're getting stronger you're growing you're changing and you're just getting more and more amazing without you even realizing so keep doing what you do keep engaging when you see the when you see us come live spend time you know just investing all your attention and you're gonna have a fabulous time okay i'll be back to talk you through the lesson see you soon bye bye and now let's go into a time of worship It's another beautiful time of worship. Are you excited to be in God's presence? Are you ready? Come on, come on, let's do this together. It says hallelujah. It's the sound of rejoicing. Come on, let's go. Put your hands together. Come on. Two, three, go. Hallelujah, eh, eh. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, eh. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah, eh, eh, eh. Hallelujah, oh, oh. Let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Come on! Put your hands together. Come on! Sure, let me hear you make some noise. Come on, we take it together again. Hallelujah! Eh? Put your hands together like this. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah, hallelujah! Eh? He's the sound of victory. Put 
your hands together like this. Come on. Let the sound of rejoicing view. Let's take me down with me like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Hi, my name is Joy, and today I'll be doing a memory verse. And God said to Philip, Go to the chariot and stay near. Philip ran up to the chariot and heard a man reading Isaiah the prophet. Philip asked, Do you understand what you're reading? How can I? said the man if someone does not explain it to me. Then the man invited Philip to come sit with him. Bye, thank you for watching. About children, the continuous family, his life on earth Philip was one of Jesus' 12 followers. He was busy telling people about Jesus when an angel spoke to him. Philip, go out on the road. Along came a very important officer from Ethiopia, riding in his chariot. He was reading the book of the prophet Isaiah. Philip ran alongside the chariot to talk to the man. Do you understand what you're reading? No. I need someone to explain it to me. The officer stopped the chariot. And invited Philip to sit with him. The verse of scripture the Ethiopian was reading was this. He was like a sheep being led to be killed. He said nothing and died without children to continue his family. Please tell me. Who was the prophet talking about? Philip explained that Isaiah was actually writing about Jesus. As they continued, the Ethiopian man began to believe in Jesus. Soon the chariot came near a stream. Look, here's some water. What stops me from being baptized right now? So they stopped the chariot. And Philip baptized him. When they walked back out of the water, God wanted Philip to preach in another place. So, just like that, Philip was gone. So the officer returned home with his heart full of joy. Wow, boys and girls, we're back. Um, what do you think? What did you think about the lesson? There's just a lot to learn from there. I wish that we were in the same space and I was able to hear all your beautiful suggestions and perspectives but um i'll tell you what i learned so 
imagine that you were Philip, right? And you were not in tune with God. Do you know who would have suffered? The Ethiopian. So the Ethiopian eunuch had no understanding of the things that he was reading in the Bible. So take it as pastor or apostle mind, right? When pastor is teaching, he helps us understand what God is saying or what God has said in the Bible, right? So the same way, God can actually speak to you and teach you about the Bible and help you to understand it so that you can teach someone else. So think about it. If Philip did not agree, first of all, meaning he did not perceive, he did not understand what God, even the Spirit of God was saying to him, he will not have been able to be able to disseminate that information um, to um, the eunuch. So he had to, first of all, understand the Word of God to be able to teach another. And so this is where it comes in. Philip was was older in age but this is not restricted to only older people you too can understand the bible this is where i'm going you can understand what the word of god says and how do you do this you ask the holy spirit you ask the holy spirit you literally when you open the bible to read it you ask the author anyone any book every book is written by an author and so the author of the scriptures is not um is not an ordinary man it is god himself it's his word right and so you have to ask him you how do you ask god you ask god in faith you say god i want to understand what you are saying in the bible teach me the bible says actually that children shall be taught of the lord so god can teach you and when he teaches you know that he's not teaching you for only you he's teaching you for another because someone else's understanding is based on yours imagine and um, pastor didn't know the word of god like he did we will not be able to understand as much um because he has been a blessing so what i mean is you too can be a blessing to another and that's why we make up the church we are the body of christ one person understands this part another person understands this part and we come together and we have a full full idea and full perspective of what god wants for us isn't that amazing so i need you you need me and so from today go to the bible open the bible that's that's like a task i give you guys right go to the bible boys and girls open it read a particular scripture if you do not understand what god is saying ask the holy spirit the holy spirit i need you to teach me and also your um, your parents are also there to guide you and as they do that it'll be easy for you to go through the bible and understand it i hope that makes a lot of sense because in doing that you'll not only be a, you'll not only be blessed but you'll be a blessing to another and hello boys and girls i hope you've had a right? lovely so lovely beautiful. week so, so we're gonna start the quiz, the quiz I'll see you next today time. bye quiz number one question number one it's in acts chapter 8 verse 26 in the niv bible it tells of philip being directed to go south to the road the desert road that goes down from jerusalem to gaza who gave him this message a the grecian church council b an angel of the lord c paul of tarsus or d luke the physician the answer was b number two after philip started on his journey Scripture says he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasury of the Queen of the Ethiopians. According to Acts chapter 8, verse 27, what was the name of the Queen? A. Carmel B. Candace C. Cassifia D. Claudia The answer was B. Number 3. Acts chapter 8 verse 27 to 28 reports the Ethiopian had gone to Jerusalem to worship and on his way home 
he was sitting in his chariot reading a book written by an Old Testament prophet. What was the name of the prophet? A. Isaiah B. Jeremiah C. Hezekiah D. Proverbs The answer was A. Number 4. Acts chapter 8 verse 30 reports that Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading the book of the prophet. Do you understand what you are reading? Philip asked. The man confessed he did not understand it unless someone explains it to me. Then what happened? A. He invited Philip to sit with him. B. He sped up the chariot and left Philip in the dust. C. He basically denounced Philip for intruding into his private life. D. He said he was busy, but the next time he was in the area, he would look up Philip. The answer was A. And the last question for today's quiz, number five. True or false? According to Acts chapter 8, verse 32 to 33 in NIV, the eunuch was reading the, this passage of scripture. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before the shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. Was it true or false? The answer is true. All right, it's time for the home quiz. As always, the first correct answer in gets a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the email address for the church, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answer. All right, home quiz time number one. According to Acts chapter 8, verse 34, what question did the eunuch then ask Philip in regards to the words of the prophet he was reading? A. Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else? B. I find this scripture extremely difficult to understand as it doesn't make any sense. C. Tell me, please, if I am correct or not. I believe the prophet is talking about himself. D. Tell me. Please, why doesn't the prophet specify who he is talking about? Number two, how did Philip respond to the Ethiopian's question? As per Acts chapter 8, verse 35. A. Told him many people were unclear about what the prophet wrote. B. Told him the good news about Jesus. C. Told him he personally saw Jesus after his resurrection. D. Told him he wished the Ethiopian didn't have such a closed mind about what he was reading. 3. Acts chapter 8 verse 36 states that as Philip and the eunuch travelled along the road, they came to some water and then the eunuch made a pronouncement. What did he say? A. Is this the water that Jesus said you drink and will never be thirsty again? B. Look, here is the water. Let's stop and have some refreshment as I have a long trip ahead of me. C. It's extremely odd, isn't it, to find water along a desert road? Is this a sign from God? D. Look, here is water. Why shouldn't I be baptised? Number four, when they came up out of the water, 
the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. And the eunuch did not, did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. According to Acts chapter 8 verse 39, Philip made a sudden departure from the scene. What happened? A. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away and the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. B. Philip then hijacked the chariot and headed in the other direction, leading the Ethiopian dazed and confused. C. When they came up out of the water, Philip quickly started running in the opposite direction and the eunuch went on, on his way rejoicing. D. Philip stayed with the Ethiopian for a number of days and travelled with him to Ethiopia before heading back to Jerusalem. And last question number 5, Acts chapter 8 verse 40 tells of Philip suddenly appearing at another place after which he traveled about preaching the gospel in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. What was the name of the place in which he suddenly appeared? A. Azotus B. Abyssinia C. Athens or D. Antipatras All right, my lovelies, remember to send in your answers as soon as you're done with it at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. have the correct answers put them in an email send them to the church email which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org Establish my covenant with you. Need to do something like you that our father like God, God is all knowing. That means he knows everything. everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything he knows tomorrow. And art. Like I'm so silly. Like you're, you're, you're so silly now. Like you're so. Guess what? You know you're just all of this silly, right?